Greetings Stalker! In this video I will show you how to install Anomaly 153, how to install Modetex DLTX, how to install a mod organizer, visible body, FD animations, top hands and everything what you need for basics. All steps are matter. Pay attention to all steps. One mistake you will fail. Let's go. Hey mates and let's start from the first. In the first you will need 7-zip. 7-zip all links to what I will name you can find in the description of the video. Download, install it so you will have this option when you for your files. You can unpack it and pack it as an archive. 7-zip is very important. So install it. If it not appears in here, reboot your system, your PC. You done with it. The next one is we need to download Stalker Anomaly. I have easy way for you. I found ready torrent where you don't need to do anything. Download and play Stalker Anomaly 153. If you're good with vanilla, you can download and play it like now. If you want to mod, stay on the video, don't go. So in here, the link will be, I will put this link with the torrent link in here. Also, link to the mod buy where you can download the game itself. Uh, the speed is very bad in mod buy, that's why I advise you to use torrent. When you, uh, when you install Anomaly, you will have this file on your PC. First thing, try to install them on separate disk. So here is my Windows. <clears throat> here is disk for stuff. You see Anomaly 153, you will have it like this. Uh, with 7-zip you need to unpack it unpack 7-zip in here so you will go this file as I did so inside this uh, file you can find an amino launcher press it double click run in here you can select DX DXpreZ DX8 is very bad graphic you can't install many mods on it DX11 is for good PC check my PC stats if you have better PC than mine so you are you are welcome to select DX11. If you have worse PC than mine, select, I don't know, other DXs. Now in here, do everything like I selected. Delete shader cache and play game. When you will start game, just let's start it. I will show you. Instead so, when game started, click on your new game and start game. Just start it. If it everything works fine, go back to the desktop, exit. So you checked everything opening, it's fine. Now what we need to do. To uh, modify our anomaly, we will need mod organizer. Before you install mod organizer, let me find mod organizer. The link is in description. V one more important thing. In here, it's a mod organizer page. What you need to do first, don't download it. First day, install this one. It's mix of Visual CC. Without it, it will cause crash and problems. That's why maybe most of you have a problem with mod anomaly. Install it and reboot your PC after it. When you did it, come back to this page and find this file, mod organizer x, it's in, in here. So I'm showing again. Here you download this Visual SC++, install reboot your PC. After you coming back, download it mod organizer. When you start your mod organizer, let me show you how it will be because I already installed it. Let me show you how you, it will be. So when you will start it, it will be like this. It will come up like this. You click OK. There's a global and portable. <clears throat> it all doesn't matter if you have one modded anomaly. You can select, for example, global. Now you need to find anomaly folder. Find anomaly game. It's in here, you see. And click OK. So it will unpack it and the game, uh, it will come up like this in the end here you will not have anything it will be empty empty list in here nothing in here here anomaly launcher and so everything must be like this you see anomaly icon anomaly launcher and start game so when you did it uh, start game see if it works or not again okay. don't delete shader cache just start see if the launching it's good uh, for you start a new game see how it if works fine come back so we're done with the mod organizer what next we need to do uh, first thing we need to add to windows exceptions this all files it's on russian but you need to find windows defender so windows defender in here the icons is in the same place i'm showing you what you need to do in here you need to find this one so first come it this in here this one in in the bottom in the bottom it located add and remove extensions extension will be in here 
as you see my anomaly folder and mother can as a folder is in exceptions so I'm doing it like this add file select file find anomaly and after do the same find mod organizer may 2 and you done so we did first two steps uh, great the next thing how to mod your game to mod your game you will need modded x the link to the modded x with my google drive the latest version of what you need is in description the file looks like this So modded X, it looks like this. It's the latest one. Click on it, you will see being the big game data. Most of the people, what they do, <coughs> and what they advise to do. They advise you just copy it and put it in anomaly. It's a mistake. Don't do it. Don't do it. I received many crashes. What you need to do, the correct way, to work it properly. Go back to the modded X. Right click, find 7-zip, find unpack, unpack. Find anomaly folder, anomaly. Okay. When it will say when you press OK, it will say replace files or not. Replace files. Replace it. So it will delete anomaly files and put mod uh, this modded X files. Okay, you did it. Good. When you will do it, what you need to do first. Firstly, you again open a game, checking everything work fine or not, because you will understand in which step you have problem. Okay, let's start game again from an organizer. Click launch game. Again, launch game. Delete shader caching this time because it's necessary. Delete it. And play game. Again, when you will open the game, let me show you one tip if everything good or not. So, when you open game, you will have in here you see modified x sign if you have it it's a good sign play new game check if it works or not for you if it everything works fine i mean you enter new game you can walk nothing lagging that means you did good exit so we're done with the modded x it's a core initial for all your mods which we will install the next thing what we need to do we need to add some animations and basic mod packs First is MSM menu. MSM menu give ability to regulate your mods. Link is in description. So how it will looks? Let me show you how we're gonna. You downloaded MSM from description now. This is what I placed in the Google Drive. You click, right click. Ah, no, you don't click right click. Sorry. You know how it looks. Now, going to mod organizer. This page is empty. Nothing you have. Click on this one. Find this MSM menu. You download it. Click open. Give name MSM to understand what you download. Click OK. So it will install it in here and put it on the top. When you install it, select this one. This thing. Select. So it activate mode. Next thing what we need to do is download top hands I already made ready top hands for you so you will not suffer when you download it just download and install like you installed this one so again I'm repeating click this top open give name everything works fine the next thing what you need to do we need to install FTA animations so we will got many animations very nice thing FDA first, it adds food, drink, drunk animations and good quality. Uh, so, this is the first file, all in description. Download it. FDA. FDA 2. So, it looks like this. FDA 3 for echo animation. And FDA 4. So, your basics will be covered. The next thing, what is it? Uh, we, when you download FDA, you need to install them in the same way as I told you, like this. First coming FDA1. I will name it FDA1 file, FDA2, FDA3. In description, I will give numbers. So in what order they must be. So FDA first come first, FDA second second, FDA third third, like this. So there will be one, two, three, four FDAs. <clears throat> when you did it, good job. 
Uh, the next thing what you need to install SOM visible body. Let's find it on you in Google. I'm using this one on my normal 153, everything fine, uh, works fine. So requirement, you see a modded, a modded uh, MSA menu. So you can install this one. Download it in here, visible body, and put it inside the files. You see visible body, I put it in the here, in the middle, it works fine. So MSA menu, trap hands, FDA coming, and the last one will be visible body. When you did it, the next thing, what is it? What we need to install? Top, SMM visible body, what you will need. I think it's uh, all what you need for now. The last thing, sometimes when you download most, you will receive this, uh, you know, crash or, I don't know, error. Let me show you how you can fix it. You see, you receive such error. What that means? Uh, that means what? What you need to do in this case? You close it, find again this file, I can't install it because inside this file there's a readme after coming game data. What you need to do? You need to go in so I'm showing again. Enter to this archive. This archive. Open I enter here. Check if there's a one on the game data. Go back. Place right click. So you need to extract it to the game or to the desktop. What you need to do? Right click, 7 zip, extract it on desktop after when you did it what you need to you extract it so it's like this enter inside right click and make this only this file only this so you enter to extract it thing so you need to make this one archive archive so make archive and that's all put it in mode organizer to work it not work because there's a file you see he put it ready me inside that's why it not work so uh, I get your basic colors in this moment. I hope you understand how to mod. So you are welcome to install most of the mods who requires Delta X mod X because I teach you how you can do it. Don't forget to support me. There's many ways how you can do it and share your opinion about this video. Thank you very much. Ask questions. I will try to help. See you. Stalker Division.